Hey, right, what's up, Professor Anton? This is uh, Fight Club 2K3. I'm just responding to uh, your response to amend them and why you unsubs unsubscribed. I actually saw that video a couple of days ago, and uh, I was going to uh, message you and tell you that he was uh, trying to bash you, but in no way did he refute any of your arguments, so uh, it's pretty pointless. Um, yeah, like you said, uh, he's kind of like a vampire, a troll, uh, you know, whatever. Um, I just wanted to... Uh, to put forth um, a notion, and this goes along with, uh, I think, why Gary can't understand you. And it's the fact that um, he's not attuned and he's not, a willing, he's not willing to attune himself to a phenomenological language in the lexicon. Um, and that's why, I mean, that's why he can't get you. I mean, I get you, but that's only because I've read, you know, Nietzsche, Dostoevsky, Goffman, um, Heidegger, and you know, Sartre and all the other existentialists, Camus. Um, but he, he's not willing to uh, get your language. And um, I'm just going to uh, put forth this notion that language uh, in modern culture, pop culture, um, in Western culture is, can, has become somewhat of a, um, a self-preservation uh, tool, I guess you would say, a mode of self-preservation. So the concept of language as a set of auditory signs that finds grounding in the common experience, meaning language is a set or becomes a set of signs that describes sensations, desires, and effects, etc. And the more common the experience on such between people, the better cultivated the language becomes. However, for new language, Heideggerian, McLuhan, Joyce, Nietzschean, um, this is individu individuated language because the experience is new in a sense, and thus it is hard for a lot of people to understand as they don't directly know that experience which is being described through the signs. Um, could language, as it is used in modern times, be a result of a kind of perishing of new experiences for, or rather, for what is common? Um, Self-preservation as common experience and known language as a drive to preserve. That's my question. Uh, it seems the rare types, the profound, die out, or at least do not get attention until 100 years later because of this common drive and um, use of language to stamp out what is different. All right, that's all I got. Um, Professor N, I hope uh, uh, Gary didn't get you down too much because you do have a lot of, I don't want to say followers, but you do have a lot of fans. I'm one of them, and uh, I think you have a lot of great things to say on, on YouTube, and I enjoy most, you know, pretty much every video you have. All right, man. Peace out, and have a good day.